Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Fire and Ice for the NES Part 3. When we last left off, we completed Worlds 3 and 4. With that said, let's complete World 5. This stage isn't hard at all, but it did take a little while to figure out. Let's take out this flame first. I don't know what I was thinking at this time, but this is not what you want to do. This is what you want to do. Now let's take care of this flame. Go through the pipe. Make sure we make another ice cube. Now we can destroy the last two flames. This stage can be a little tricky. We basically need to find a way to make a set of staircase all the way up to the top here. And that's how you make the staircase. Now go over here and push that block to the left. Go up your stairs. jump to the other side and kill the flame. This stage is really easy. The first thing we need to do is make an ice cube and drop it down below. Now go through the two tubes and lower the ice and then make an ice bridge. Now we want to push the ice cube onto the ice bridge. Be careful here. Make sure you fill in that gap to the left before you drop the block of ice below. And now the last flame should be pretty easy to destroy. This stage isn't very hard, but the trick is to figure out how to kill that left flame first. You can tell I was really thinking hard here. There you go, Jay. You finally figured it out. I have no idea why this level took me this long. It's not hard. Now we can finish off the last two flames. This stage isn't very hard either. It's about killing the flames in the right order. Take out this flame first. Now we need to drop down and take care of this flame next. Now let's go through the pipe and take out the middle flame. This next move is very important. Make sure you send an ice cube to fill in this gap here so you can have a platform to
to land on. Now let's go through the pipe. Now we need to make sure that we make two ice cubes and take care of both flanks. This stage is another pipe level. The first thing we're going to do is want to kill this flame down here first. Here I go thinking again. That was actually an important move. Now let's go take care of this left flame. Now let's go over here and take care of the right flame. At this point we need to fill in this gap and send an ice cube over so we can make a step. Now we can extinguish this flame. And the last flame should be a piece of cake. This is another simple stage. The first thing we're going to want to do is send an ice cube down below. Then we want to make sure that we fill in this gap right here. Drop it like it's hot. Then make another ice cube so we can use it as a step. And we can kill the last flame. This stage is another pipe level. The first thing we want to do is fill in that gap right there. That is very important. You'll see later on. Now let's drop an ice cube on the left flame. If we didn't fill in that gap earlier, we would have just fell straight down there. That's why it was important. Go down here and we can take care of the last flame. Yet again another easy stage. Move that block of ice right there. Now let's take care of this flame. Now let's go through the tube and take care of this flame, but make sure you leave yourself a step so you can get back inside the tube. Now we can go down here and kill the last flame. The drawbridge lowers to the fifth castle and we can battle our fifth boss. Come a long way, Dana. Show me your power. In this boss stage, we have five flanks we need to destroy. But the trick is to destroy them in the correct order. Let's destroy this flame first. Now let's go over here and easily take out the flame below us. Let's climb up here and take care of this flame. 
Now let's make an ice bridge to the right so we can take care of this way. take care of the last flank. We need to make two ice cubes and send them to the left. And just like that, we beat our fifth boss. Even stronger enemies are waiting for you. You'd better prepare yourself. Includes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Fire and Ice for the NES Part 3. I want to thank you again for watching and be sure to stay tuned for Part 4.